everyone, welcome to the channel. This video is about the Watts case and what I wanna talk about is something that I found interesting from the discovery regarding where Chris was parking his work truck. So a little bit of background about Chris's work truck. He had a work truck issued through his company, Anadarko. According to Shanann's father, his neighbor, Nate, and their friend, Christina, who lived with them for two months, all of those people said that Chris did not park in his driveway. He would always park on the street, and that that was because Shanann did not want oil leaking onto the driveway, which I cannot blame her for that. So basically, they all stated Chris did not park in his driveway. He never backed into his driveway to load things, etc. The work truck never was in the driveway is what these other witnesses stated. So going away from Nate, Christina, and Frank Sr., there is another witness who is Chris's neighbor and who is Betty's partner. Betty is the lady who lived on the other side of Chris than Nate. So Chris was in between Nate and Betty. So I'm going to just read right from Discovery what Dave Baumhaver learned in October from David, who is Chris's other neighbor directly beside the home. The following information was documented at the time it was gathered. The date of this report is not indicated is not indicative of when the investigations occurred. On 10-26-18, after reviewing the additional surveillance video clips attained from Nathan on 10-24-18, I noticed what appeared to be lights from a car leaving the driveway of 28 Beep Saratoga Trail, which is the residence located directly west of the Watts residence. This occurred immediately after Watts walked down his driveway and entered his Anadarko work truck that was parked on the street. So I'm not going to go too much into the entire you know, red car theory, everything like that. But I will say, if you have followed this case closely, and if you have, you know, been a part of chats on our channel, you know that there are numerous people who believe that a red car was involved in this case and that it is seen on Nate's footage parked in the gravel. Because, yes, we see Betty's um, lights on the footage, but again, many people think that there is also a red car and that there are too many lights going on to just be Betty's lights. So whether you believe the red car or not, that's just a little side story, but I find it interesting that not until October 24th did investigators really look at the footage from that morning and notice these lights that appeared to be leaving out of, you know, Betty's driveway. So again, more than two months after the murder, they're just seeing these extra lights and going to the neighbor to ask. Two months and then the plea deal is coming up. Um, so continuing on, at approximately 10.50 hours, I met with the residents, David and Betty. Initially, I met with David at his front door and asked him about the car that appeared to leave his driveway at approximately 0515 hours on 81318. David said he normally leaves for work around 630 to 7 hour, 700 hours. On 81318, he left around 0700 hours. Initially, David said no one else in the household left prior to him. I asked David if he saw Watts that morning, to which he stated he had not, but offered information this is the important part, okay? Offered information about how Watts had parked his truck in the driveway several times recently when he normally parked in the street. So we know that this interview didn't occur until October 26th. So we know Watts' truck was towed away, I believe, on August 15th. So this tells me he's referring to several times recently as in the times of the murder, August. And 
he is stating that Chris would park his work truck in the driveway when previously he had it on the street. So in my opinion, either he is mistaken or Nate, you know, chose not to mention this or it's redacted, whichever. But nowhere in Nate's notes or in the body cam do I ever hear Nate say, oh wait, yeah, Chris had been parking his work truck in the driveway recently. I never heard that. So who is right? Who is wrong? What was going on? Was Chris parking his work truck in the driveway recently to try to make it seem like when, you know, the plan happened and he had to back his work truck into the driveway, make it seem normal and was hoping people were saying, yeah, he was backing in recently or parking in the driveway recently. I don't know. And, you know, I'm just thinking out loud here, but that just really stuck out to me. So I'm going to go on. I told David a neighbor's security camera showed a car that appeared to leave his driveway around 0515 hours. David said the car was likely his wife's as she normally leaves around 0500 to 0015 hours to work out at a gym. Upon speaking with Betty, I learned she turned left that morning, 81318, at 0515 hours and noticed Watts' truck with the lights on. She thought it was unusual because there's typically... They're typically not on that early. Betty offered information about a barbecue they had around zero, or I'm sorry, around 1900 hours on Sunday evening, 8, 12, 18, and never heard or saw Bella or Celeste during that time. She did see Watts a couple times as he was cooking something on the grill, but the girls never made an appearance when he walked outside. My meet with Betty and David ended shortly thereafter, nothing further. So I feel like, You know, once again, if this case had gone to trial, we have two different witness statements. We have witnesses who say he was not parking the driveway, never parked in the driveway, and then a witness who said Watts parked his truck in the driveway several times recently when he normally parked in the street. So let me know what you guys think about this. It's just really frustrating and sad how much um, conflicting information there is and how much missing information there is. And the date of this report appears to be Wednesday, November 14th, 2018. So this was after Chris's plea deal. So Chris already pled guilty to it all. And they're just now, you know, noting all this stuff in Discovery And again, they did not meet with this couple until October 26th. So again, it just frustrates me that we don't have a better, you know, expert police analysis on Nate's footage. And like I've said a million times, I think if a jury of 12 people watched what you know, we've been giving on given on Nate's footage, they would not agree on what they see because we do know also, first they said the crime scene, everyone was killed at home. Then they changed it to the girls left alive. So they changed the crime scene for the daughters, Bella and Cece. That's just ridiculous in itself, in my opinion. I don't know. It just seems like they didn't really look into certain things. But maybe they did, and we don't know. I'm starting to ramble. But anyway, that's just what I wanted to show you guys is how, you know, Betty's partner said that he saw Chris parking the work truck in the driveway several times when he recently would park on the street. So I'm going to end it, and we will talk soon. Bye.